Well, Spain is doing well. There are a bunch of defensive pacts. Did figure out how to join the existing defensive pack before. Ah. You have to be a certain size. And we're a little bit beyond that apparently, so... We don't get to be in a defensive pact against him. Because we're big and strong as we are. No need to help anyone. Or rather, no need to get help from anyone. Our mystic has vanished. So our prince bishop shall be our court physician again. Probably didn't vanish, he just... Kinda fell away. I like that King Eric of Italy is here. And there's a little county there. So how are you doing? You're having truces? I'd like to support you. In fighting wars. Let's see. World is an interesting place. The Western Protectorate of the Chinese Emperor growing over there. Never really interacted with him. Can we pay tribute? We don't have enough money. And we're not within diplomatic range either. That's not really for us. Bulgaria. Well, the Byzantines have shifted a little bit in where they are, but they're going still fairly strong. How strong are you? Ah, uh, you're like a kingdom. But you're standing against the Husamid. And Jerusalem <laughs> is Irish. Croatia, Bulgaria, Marania, Saxony. Persia, Persia ravaged by the plague. Let's see how far it... Oh, God. I told you it's coming for us. Might be a little bit safer on our islands here. But it will come. And it adds these beautiful little animations to the map. I mean, they're not beautiful, but they're very fitting. Where the plague costs the most lives. They're being loaded onto carts. I hope my dear daughter survives this. She is in seclusion. Oh god. France just has had the first case. Swallow it. Send our spy master somewhere where there's no plague yet. Send him out. Over there. Asia Minor ravaged by the plague. When will it end indeed? Let's check into our hospital. Vatican outrage. Letters have been sent out to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded to stop the benefication of sinful people and revoke the rights from the rest of the clergy to do so. From now on, the granting of benefication will be given out by the Pope personally. Shame that the church are so willing to overstep its boundaries. 
trying to unjustly blame it upon the people who have done their utmost for the faith reeks of nothing more than desperation. Well. See, what gives us... Uh, nothing helps us with resistance. We will just have to hope and build a sick house up here. Can't we if we can't even build a sick house there? That's how low the technology levels are around here. Okay, it has spread to the island. The Middle East is ravaged by the plague. This is the most horrific time. Tribes are seemingly unaffected yet. Oh no, it's spreading to the Green Island. Let's go art hunting. That's the perfect time to do so. People are going to die left and right now. This is a time for death. We are not allowed to shut our gates yet. Oh, well, because we're hunting. And the plague has reached us. And at this point, it's going to be a terrible thing even trying to keep up to replace our people because they're just going to keep dying and dying and dying. See? We're just going to have to wait it out until it's over. Well, we come upon a lone rider. He shall join us at our court. Right, time to shut the gates. And we have too many vassals. How might that have happened? Uh... Because our Viceroy died down here. Let's give him the Kingdom of Austrasia on top of it. Our dear grandson and heir. Let's hope he survives the plague. Why are you unmarried? What is this? Find a wife, boy. And be my steward. Sounds good. Go collect taxes for me. And do find a wife. Man. Just. See if we can't find him a wife somewhere out there. Someone who's decently young and not too terrible. She's pregnant, that's uh, not super good. Does she have to be an adult? No, she does not. I think I can't invite children to my court. Fair enough. Well, I hope my grandson will find his wife himself is looking okay but time to throw out people as they have the symptoms of the black death watch our court dwindle in nothingness as we throw them all out Well, even our wife has to go.
Yeah, let's... Buy a few books from those monks. He has been showing symptoms of illness. Yeah, now she has to go. Bye bye. Ooh, I just got the achievement called an honest mistake. And you get that achievement when you throw out someone who actually doesn't have anything. <laughs> Whoops. Now let's watch... Oh. I was about to say, let's watch our military capabilities dwindle to nothingness. Apparently not. Apparently not. Our wife died. Time to find someone new. Someone strong. Maybe a genius? Is there a genius amongst you? Oh yeah. Let's be betrothed to her. So we don't suffer any penalty for not being married. I think that should go away. We're not going to marry her ever. But it's fine. We just need it. For the thing. For the place. Have him be our new diplomat, our new chancellor. Shutting the gates to Port Lage and secluding ourselves from the epidemic outside was not an easy decision. However, worrying about. Um, we're not going to enjoy ourselves. We shall make an effort to find comfort here. But we're not going to enjoy it. We're not going to have a big party. I'm going to be happy. Blessed has passed from the plague. Southern Europe is ravaged by the plague. I keep thinking about Ethne. She was the best of wives, and without her I do struggle to be an emperor. Oh, how I miss her. <laughs> Wenching might make me forget her. We might become lustful or incapable. Or we shall go... And never forget her and become celibate and depressed. Hmm. Let's go wenching and watch ourselves become incapable. Oh no, we just got lustful. All right. Mayor Martin has really spruced things up. Windows are polished. There are new drapes. He has done well. Alright. We'd get secluded revelry plus one health. Not bad. Um Yeah, let's give him some money. It's fine. He's doing a good job. Taking care of the place. All our commanders are dead. Everyone is just dying everywhere. I'm having a jolly time socializing. I don't remember inviting that stranger with the mask. I will pin. Who is he? He seems to be looking at us from behind the mask. Who is he indeed? Everyone at court loves the dog. Yes. 
Ice Dog. During yet another evening of wine-fueled relaxation, I approach Earl, male Martian of Irathar, just as a tall clock strikes the hour. The sound causes the lute player to halt, and my courtiers to glance cautiously at each other. Is that mask with one a friend of yours, I inquire? I should just take a deep breath. Or how dare... <laughs> Let's talk to him before it becomes weird. I make my way deeper into the hall, where the mysterious man usually stands alone, a figure veiled. Have we met? I employ my most disarming smile. Uh, yeah, through the mask, right? I wasn't made emperor for naught. The stranger remains silent, that when I notice the smell and grow cold. Wait, are those boobos on your skin? 37% something strange happens, 67%... Something terrible happens. I'm betting on terrible. Behind the mask of death. Watch out, my lord! Male Martian yells as the mysterious man reaches for me. The words ring out as I struggle to protest the notion, uh, the motion of his hand, and my companions gasp in horror when the blackened fingers of the creature seem to stretch into my chest itself. I throw my head back and scream. Uh, as a sharp pain runs like lightning through my entire body. As I collapse to my knees, I hear others screaming as well, an unholy mixture of outrage and sorrow and panic. With my last breath, I turn to see the people of my court falling to the floor as well. Red light flooding the room. And then all was quiet. Death gets what he came for and leaves my court. Oh boy. And thus dies the Emperor. Long live the Emperor. Having been horribly disfigured, Kyberus spent his last years unable to show his face in public. Death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. It is true. It is thus. There are a bunch of pretenders out there. Emperor Edekan, a godly man, Edekan is sure to impress the priest with his extensive knowledge of the Bible. Long live Emperor Edekan. Right. Our beloved aunt is now the woman in line of succession. Find someone young and strong to become our wife. Maybe a genius. Let's check. Maybe there is a genius. Yeah, but they're all too young. Attractive? Nope. Quick. Well, she's 24. She might still have a few childbearing years in her. She does have an heir. Nah. Let's go for a strong one. There seem to be a few more choices among them. Though I can't... Sort by age, really. Oh, come on. Okay, we can't go for any good traits, so we're just going to check what we need most. We need someone who's good at diplomacy. Young and diplomatically minded and inclined. She's good. At least she's a charismatic negotiator. Might be a bastard, but who cares? Love conquers all. Or we go for her. But she has a fever, so she's probably got the plague. Mm, let's get her. Now to take care of more issues. Vassal levies are raised too long. Are we in any sort of war? That would require our armies to stand? No. Time to stand them all down. Why do we have hired troops? Weirdest decisions. Honestly. But... Wow. Kingdom of Aquitaine. 
Who holds that title? Me? That is a huge... A huge duchy. He's Yazidi. The only Yazidi vassals will mind. He has a few troops, quite. Not going to convert. He really doesn't like us. Desires a few kingdoms. He holds so many titles. I too we got in here. Everybody hates us down here. Great, we definitely need to put someone on the throne. He doesn't particularly hate us. Is there someone of my dynasty down here? Still left? Doesn't look like it. Ah, well, here. There's someone of my dynasty. Let's grant him vice royalties of everything there. Kingdom of France. The Kingdom of uh, Aquitaine. And the Kingdom of Austrasia. People are going not to like it, but that's fine. Let's transfer a vassal or two. Duke of Navarra. Where's that? Ah, oh, that's not right. These are mine. Just so we have power consolidated over here. And since he's only holding vice royalties, if he dies, those titles go back to me. We don't need the money. Let's get the prestige for our marriage. Oh, special title option. Let's set a crown focus down here. The plague doesn't seem to hit us too hard. Our council is a little bit empty. Can I put you as court chaplain? No, I cannot. I can put you... What are you good at? Nothing really. So you're going to be my spy master. And die on that questionable honor. We are looking for people who like us. Well, maybe also competent people. Who likes us here? Not entirely incompetent, yeah. So you go do that. You go train some troops. You go <laughs> be a spy for us down here and you go convert that thing all right and thus the watch changes let us hope that we will survive the plague we're crowned by a pope we are quick Switch our focus. Oh, we can't yet. When can we? The year 1000. Turn of the century. Alright. Alright, okay. My sister, the Princess of France. Oh, she's a nun? Since when is the Princess of France a nun? Oh well, 